Hey guys, Karen Dubs here, FlexibleWear.com. Today's segment is special for my friends at Charm City Run here in the Baltimore area. We're going to do about a 10 minute post run stretch that you can do with your running shoes on before you get in the car. Straight from your run is best. Make sure as always you honor, protect, and listen to your body. We're gonna hit quads, hamstrings, calves, a little groin inner thigh. Okay, so um, again, no equipment required. You don't need a yoga mat for this. We're gonna start in a wide straddle position toes slightly in, heels slightly out, hands to your sacrum low back. You're gonna take a big breath in. Again, as I said, honor, protect, listen to your body. Straight from a run is best. And then go ahead and hinge forward. And if you can touch the ground, don't go ahead and do that. And a little bend in the knees is fine. Relax your head completely and get that good hamstring stretch. Let's take three deep breaths here. In and out through the nose with the breathing. So you can really send that calming message the mind and into the body and then go ahead and grab onto your hips with your hands elbows slightly back lead with your chest and come all the way up and we're gonna get triangle stretch next so I love you're gonna turn your left toes out and your right heel slightly away so both toes are turned slightly in I want you to grab onto your right hip bone and pull your right hip bone up and then slide to the side and this is triangle pose so with this hip lifted up you'll feel that stretch through the medial hamstring and maybe a little groin in her thigh. You can take the top hand and lift it to the sky. Take a couple nice deep breaths there. Should feel good. And then go ahead and lift up from there. We're gonna get pyramid stretch next, which is amazing for hamstrings. So I want you to just take a little half step forward. The back toes are turned slightly in or out to the side and the heels are in line. You're gonna grab onto your hips, draw your hip bones straight forward. So the hips and shoulders are pointed straight forward. Again, hands onto your sacrum low back. You're gonna lean back a little bit, take a really deep breath, open the front of the chest and shoulders, and then hinge forward from there. So if your hamstrings are really tight, you're probably gonna to wanna to bend this knee a little bit, right? Um, otherwise, the leg can be straight. And also another good modification is grabbing onto your left hip with your left hand, pulling that left hip back because what happens is the hips kind of hike up, especially as the hamstrings are tight. So try to level your hips as much as possible. You can rest your hands onto your front shin if you like. Take a deep breath in, and then grab onto your hips again. You're gonna lift all the way back up, and we are going to get into our quad stretch. So you're gonna bend this front knee, just take a little step forward. If you have something that you wanna hold on to, <laughs> like a banister or a railing or a tree, that's fine because um, you are going to be working on a little bit of balance. So traditional quad stretch, knees are close together. You're pulling the belly in, you're pressing your hips a little forward, so opening up the front of the quad and hip flexor. But for those of you who want to experiment and go into dancer's pose, you're going to take your hand from the outside of your foot, put it on the inside of your foot, and then reach out and up into a dancer's pose. Now, take it or leave it. You can just stick with your regular quad stretch if you prefer. Wherever you are, take one more very deep breath and then go ahead and come up from there. Now you're gonna maintain your balance. I'm gonna turn forward so you can see. That right ankle is gonna come across your left thigh and then we're gonna drop down into a standing hip stretch. This is standing balance pigeon. Yes, you are working on a little balance here, uh, which is good for your ankle stability too. The more that you drop down into the pose, the more that you'll feel it in your hip. Again, like I said, you can have you know something that you're holding on to, a tree, a bench, something like that that you don't have to work so much on your balance, but working on balance is a good thing. Take one more nice deep breath. We're gonna go ahead and come up from there, and then you're gonna take that half step back again with that back foot. You're gonna bend your knee in a little bit so you can get into the calf, the soleus, the Achilles a little bit. So bending in, tailbone tucking, hips pressing forward. Take a deep breath in here, and then we'll go ahead and turn to the front. Now this next pose is one of my favorites. You're going to drop down into a prayer squat and the elbows will be right inside the knees. You can kind of rock from right to left if you like. This is so great for the groin and our thighs. Now if your calves are really tight, your heels might be lifted up. They might not be down like mine are, but um, you can kind of maybe stick something underneath the heels so that the heels are elevated and supported and just work those heels down towards the ground so you're getting a nice stretch. And then from here the fingertips will touch the ground Hips will lift up. You're gonna turn your toes straight forward. We're gonna grab onto opposite elbows and hang in a rag dog, which is just a forward fold. Sway from right to left, let those hamstrings stretch. Take a really deep breath. 
again, then you can bend your knees, tuck through the tailbone, roll slowly up to standing, take a big breath in, and let's get that all on the other side. So the feet are gonna come back out. We're gonna turn the right toes out, the left toes in. You're gonna pull this left hip bone up, and you might already be feeling a stretch through um, the hamstring, the medial hamstring on this front leg. So you're gonna slide down as much as possible. It's not a competition, so don't worry about having the foot um, touching the foot, but if it goes there, then great. Think of lifting this hip up and opening up the side of the rib cage. The top hand can reach to the sky. You take a couple nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. And then from there, you want to push through the feet. Use your core to lift you out of this, by the way. So really lift up from the core. We're going to turn forward, take this half step forward with your back foot for pyramid stretch. Grab onto your hips, square forward. So shoulders and hips are drawing straight forward. Hands can come to your sacrum, lean back, open up the chest and the shoulders, take a really deep breath. And then leading with your chest, you can fold forward. And then again, some of you are gonna wanna bend this knee a lot if your hamstrings are really tight. Otherwise, you can have that leg straight, hands can be on the shin. And by the way, if your hamstrings are really more open, you can have your hands on either side of your front foot. So relax your neck, nose can be towards your knee. Take a couple nice deep breaths feeling that hamstring stretch. And then grab onto your hips again, elbows to the sky, lift up, leading with your chest and your heart. And then we're gonna come into that quad stretch. So you're gonna bend this front knee so you can shift your weight forward, grabbing on to the top of your foot. Knees are close together, belly's drawing in, hips are pressing forward. Stay with your quad stretch if you like. Otherwise, you can come into that dancer's pose by reaching around, grabbing the inside of your foot and then reaching up with your right hand, kicking out into your dancer's pose, working on balance and flexibility. Take a nice deep breath in, really kick those toes to the sky. And then maintain your balance the best that you can as you reach that foot around and over your opposite thigh. Okay, flex this foot by the way. Drop down, this is a hip stretch, the leg that's folded in front, um, you're getting that hip stretch there. And by the way, let me mention that I have tons of playlists on my YouTube channel, Flexible Warrior Yoga. So yoga for runners playlist, post run stretch playlist, lots of core, cross training. So you can subscribe to my channel and you can get lots of variety with your post run stretches so you can stay flexible as well as strong. Go ahead and lift up from there. You're gonna take that half step back, pull that belly in, bend the knee down so you can stretch through that um, calf, soleus, gastronemius. Yep, get that good stretch. That should feel good too. And some of the other um, videos have lots of downward dogs and um, pigeon poses. So you can get variety and get, I, downward dog is my favorite calf stretch. All right, so give that a try. Go ahead and lift up, turn straight forward. We're gonna do that prayer squat one more time. So turn your toes out, heels in, drop down. Elbows are right inside the knees. You can rock a little bit from right to left. Such a great stretch. Take a really deep breath in. And exhale. So taking just, you know, less than 10 minutes can make a really big difference. Lots of free videos on my YouTube channel. No reason that you shouldn't add this into your regular running and training. Fingertips come down, hips lift up, toes turn forward. Grab onto opposite elbows, sway from right to left. Get that good hamstring stretch one more time. Let your torso go completely. And then bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, roll all the way up to standing. Take a big breath in. We're just gonna finish up with one more stretch. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Just stretch to the side. It's such a good thing to open up the side waist so you can breathe more deeply. And then come all the way up to standing, regrip and take it to the other side. All the way up and over. And then back to center and release down. Good job, you guys. Thanks for joining me and stay flexible warriors. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye.